Hello, I'm Jonathan M0JSX uh, and welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks very much for joining. Now, the astute among you will realise that I'm not at home, I'm not in the shack, I'm not in the studio. Uh, I have in fact come to uh, my local park. Um, kind of to a parks on the air, except this is an official park for parks on the air. Uh, but I mostly come out here because I had a question very recently uh, emailed to me about using traps to multiband a dipole, um, which got me thinking because I happen to have an antenna which would do this already. Uh, when I was working at Martin Inch and Sons, we got sent as a prototype from Bushcom, their Bushcom 4020, which is a trapped dipole. It's exactly that. It is a dipole for both the 40 meter and the 20 meter amateur bands. Now, if those are the two bands you want to operate, brilliant. There's also a version of this, this antenna that will do 80 and 40. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to show you what I've got set up here. It's taken me about 15 minutes to set up, uh, if that. Um, and uh, we'll give the antenna a quick review and why this may be a good portable option. So the antenna system is a very simple uh, fiberglass pole. It's one of the DX Commander uh, 10 meter classics. It's not up 10 meters, only about up probably uh, four or five meters, just due to uh, how much space I've got. And then I've got uh, one leg uh, of the antenna uh, running that way. Uh, and the other end of the antenna running that way. It's nice and simple. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the uh, the traps as well. So the traps are all encapsulated, so you can't really see very much, uh, but there is one of the traps. There's another one exactly the same the other side. Uh, so this is a really good antenna. Now I use this antenna uh, for my, uh, for a home base antenna for, for, oh goodness me, a, a number of years um, at my previous QTH. And since I moved last year, it's been sat in a box, not doing anything. So I thought I would bring it out today. Uh, I've just got a length of Ultraflex 7. Uh, it's uh, an SO239 at the top end. So it's got a PLT59. And I've got a length of Ultraflex 7 coming down and then plugged in to the IC705. So what I thought we'd do is we'd have a quick tune around 20 meters and also 40 meters as well. Mike Zero, Juliet Sierra X-Ray. Uh, negative on call, Mike Zero, Juliet Sierra X-Ray 59001. Uh, roger, roger. I confirm to stand Sugar X-Ray, thank you. Roger, 73. Thank you. Papa Alpha 5 Zulu, Captain. Roger, Papa Alpha 2 2 Charlie, Charlie. Mike Zero, Juliet, Sierra, X-Ray, Strike Portable. Mike Zero, Juliet, Sierra, X-Ray, Strike Portable, 5 9 November Hotel. Uh, thank you, 5 9 0 0 2, number 2, QSL. Sure, 73, thank you, Jonathan. 73. Alpha Oscar 3, World Radio Day, QRZ. Mike Zero, Juliet, Sierra, X-Ray, Stroke Portable. Uh, Mike Zero, Juliet, Sierra, X-Ray, Portable. Hello, congratulations, 59. Uh, Roger, thank you very much. Uh, also 5959 five, plus 10 at times with me. Back to you. So there we have it, made a few QSOs. Not as many as I'd hoped, but to be honest, we're only out here for about sort of 20 minutes, half an hour, and only running five watts QRP. It's gonna be always a struggle. Uh, the sun is going down, my hands are bitterly cold, and my phone camera here is about to uh, run out of battery. So I'm gonna pack up and head home, and then we'll talk about my thoughts of the antenna, and then we'll close up. So back in the warmth of home, and if I'm honest, it's actually a day later. Uh, what are my thoughts of the Bushcom Horizon 2040? It's a good antenna. It's not cheap, so it is the best part of £175, which for a dual band antenna for HF is quite a lot. However, I will say it is very well made out of that stainless steel uh, wire, uh, which is not uh, coated or anything. It is bare wire. Uh, I think this antenna works brilliantly if maybe if you're looking for an antenna to erect maybe maybe a holiday uh, operation or maybe uh, as, a, as a permanent installation in your garden that would be perfect for this antenna. What I found when trying to unroll and roll it back up again is because it's made out of that quite stiff steel wire it doesn't necessarily coil very easily and does get tangled on itself quite easily. So as I say, if you're using it maybe as a, a semi-permanent antenna, I say maybe if you want to take it on holiday and, and have it erected for a week or so, that's probably going to be quite nice. Um, or if you want to have it as, as I had it in my previous QTH as, as a permanent installation, it worked great there. As a portable antenna for only sort of an hour's use, 
there are possibly better options out there. And in fact, I think if Bushcorn were to make a version of its antenna using a PVC coated wire, something like DX Commander's DX10, that would work really well uh, as a portable antenna as well. What I realised how the centre of the antenna has that mounting hole, which I suppose is really meant so you can you know, hoist it up into a tree, uh, but just slipping it over uh, a fiberglass pole worked really well for me. And I think as an inverted V configuration, that's brilliant. Now I happen to have used this antenna in both an inverted V and a flat top configuration with good SWR in both configurations. Obviously running as an inverted V means you get a slightly more omnidirectional and, uh, pattern, uh, but only very slightly. You, you, best thing to do if you wanted to have a truly omnidirectional antenna would be to go to something like a vertical. So there we have it, the Bushcom Horizon 2040 uh, proving that a trapped dipole for 20 and 40 meters uh, can work really well uh, even if some of the points of this particular antenna uh, are not perfect for a portable installation as say for permanent installation it'd be absolutely brilliant. All that's left for me to say is thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. 73.